All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in the last channel, I did mention that I have a new daily and it's a truck. And I'll show you what we going on, what we got going on. Sucks to say that this is not going to be the daily, as I always hashtag daily driven drift car. It's not going to happen anymore because, um, shit, shit happens, I guess, but it's all right. Um, I always wanted a daily like this or a truck like this i finally got my hands on one of them but it's not exactly what i wanted but look it's better than nothing there she is so i got a stock it's a uh, 07 tacoma five lugger two-wheel drive um it's not lifted it had the stock steelies on before um decided to throw on my old drift spares as you can see here check it out because I've been getting a lot of weird looks, but they're uh, Nissan 300ZX Fair Lady Z32 stock wheels. And I put on some uh, mud terrain tires on it because um, I wanted a little bit of height and I didn't like the stock steelies. So um, that's what I got. And um, yeah, check it out. I'm not going to do too much to it, even though I do want to take it to the trails but it's not I'm not too familiar with the trails and how worthy a truck like this would be in the trails but um yeah so today I'm actually gonna go pull out the rear bumper because I hate chrome <laughs> uh, and we're gonna go ahead and paint that semi-gloss black I already did it to the grill and I'll show you what the grill looks like like I said I really hate fucking chrome and uh, the grill is already painted semi-gloss black kept this a secret because um didn't really want the truck to get much of the limelight of my channel but um yeah here she is that's what i got so in order to pull off because i'm just gonna remove the i guess the scrum skin portion of the bumper and not just not the entire uh, rear bumper support we gotta pop off all these panels and there's a couple bolts holding the bumper down and um yeah well, we'll hit it up with some spray paint and give it a better look because I hate chrome. Okay, before I go that, we hit a little snag. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the rear bumper from these three bolts. Uh, well, six bolts total, three on each side, and then um, yeah, we'll pull it off one whole shot gonna suck because it's gonna be a little bit heavy but shit sure it's all right just like that rip bumpers out then we'll finish pulling off the plastic pieces um and then i'll take off the skin maybe i don't know because they're bolts are rusted out and then we'll hit up Hit it up with some paint. So anytime you're gonna spray paint anything, um, shit, I know it's dented here, but fuck it, it's a truck. Anytime you're gonna spray paint anything, you always wanna make sure the surface is clean. So we're gonna go ahead and wash it off with Dawn. I prefer Dawn because it uh, doesn't leave any oily residue or waxy residue that car wash soap leaves. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to spray paint this shit. This shit's fucking rusty like a bitch. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wash it and then um, yeah, we'll hit up the spray paint when it dries. So we're gonna let it air dry for a little bit. I did wipe it down with the chamois, but um, air drying it allows it to um, I guess dry better so the paint can stick better so um yeah wipe it down let it air dry for a little bit and then uh, we'll come back to it all right so people always ask me what i use to paint i always go for the rustolia much cover because it's a paint and primer and um it's cheap it's cheap at home depot and it does the job it's not perfect it's not great uh, but I always use this particular spray paint. Got this for $3.98 at Home Depot. Not sponsored by them, but um, 
I always buy spray paint and it's always this spray paint that I get from Home Depot and I use it on my cars, the drift car, any other small things I'm doing or big things I guess because I'm painting my car with it so uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do three layers of, uh, three coats of paint. First coat is gonna be a mist coat. Uh, and then we're gonna wait about five minutes and then we're gonna do a second medium coat. And then we're gonna wait another about, five, about another five minutes and then we're gonna do a final coat. And uh, yeah, show you how we do it. So another trick I like to do when I'm spray painting is I leave the cans out in the sun. It helps expand the paint and uh, you get better coverage and uh, get to use the whole can instead of like three quarters of the can so I'm um, leaving out these cans in the sun for a little bit and uh, yeah it's a little windy today but should I guess we'll work with it And that's my first coat. Intention of this is to um, allow the second coat to have something to hold on to, especially when it's something like as smooth as this. It tends to react or whatever, but you know. Yeah, so that's my second coat, or my first coat, which is my mist or light coat. Yeah. Five minutes later. So, second coat is done. Uh, you saw me switching through cans. First two cans were actually somewhat empty from when I painted my wheels. So, um, got a fresh can, and it's my last can. And still, you can see a little bit of a uh, shine from the chrome but um the third coat should cover it up because and then when it fully cures when the paint fully cures it's actually gonna be semi-gloss or matte or satin whatever you want to call it it's not gonna be flat it's difference looking flat than uh the matte black but yeah all right here we go for the final coat let's get it There you have it. Third and final coat is on. We're gonna go ahead and let it dry. And um, we'll see how it turns out when it dries. Still got a little bit of shine from the paint being laid down, but um, yeah, hopefully it turns into a, a matte look. <laughs> Get it, matte? Because I'm matte? No, I'm just kidding. All right. Here's the bumper installed already. I didn't need to do an install video because it's in reverse, <laughs> basically. So um, yeah, here you go, finished product. Uh, kind of messed up when I was trying to put the panels back. So you'll see a little bit of a drift touch there with the zip tie, but shit, no biggie. Yeah, here it is.